Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a Doodly invitation for back to school night. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The kids are going back to school soon, and I know we have a lot of teachers using Doodly. So I thought it might be fun to go over how to make a video invitation for back to school night. Now the video doesn't need to be long or complicated. In fact, it should be short and sweet. You can share it on your school's website, in a newsletter or email message, or on the school's social media pages. You could also upload it to YouTube and then create and send a flyer home with the kids with the flyer containing a QR code that the parents can then scan to view the video. Of course, you're gonna need the basic details to include. So here's my sample script. Just kind of covers an introduction, what's gonna happen, when it's gonna be, and so on. Before we start, think about the types of images to include. Since mine will have a presentation at the beginning, I might want to include some graphics that depict that, you know, maybe a board with the text that introduces the presentation. I might even want to upload some photos of the school, or if I'm the teacher that's sending the invitation, maybe a map to my classroom would be helpful. Think about if you want to include a photo of yourself or use a doodly character. Will you add a voiceover or just music and text only? There's no right or wrong answer here. Similarly, think about your background. I'm going to use a blackboard since it's back to school. I'm going to use a doodly character to represent me, and I will do a voiceover. So let's get started. You'll see I've already kind of laid out some of my scenes here, and I did select a music track already. Now what I would like to do is add my voiceover and then we can fine tune the graphics, maybe add some more things and go from there. So let's fine tune this. We start by saying, hi, I'm Mrs. Jones, your child's fifth grade teacher, blah, blah, blah. Join us on September 25th from five to 7.30. So I need to put that detail in here. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and see how our timing is going to work out on this. I already am guessing it's probably going to be on too long, so I'm going to just shorten her for the moment. And this pencil doesn't need to take that long to draw. Right now, my music is at 100%. I'm going to turn it down because I am adding a voiceover. So 14% might be about right. Now I'm going to go down here to the microphone and I'm going to click this plus sign. When I'm ready, I'm going to click the red button and start my voiceover. Here we go. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jones, your child's fifth grade teacher. So my music is a little too short compared to my audio. So I'm just going to drag it over. And you'll see what I had done originally with this music so I had a long track and I just kind of shortened the beginning. So now I'm just going to add some of that back. If I right click here, I can fade it in. So it fades in nicely and no one necessarily needs to know that I'm starting in the middle of a song. Similarly, I had a pause. I had a two second pause before I began speaking as you'll see with these little sound waves. So I'm going to just drag over here tighten that up a bit, and then slide my audio over. So now I'm going to start talking right away. I think I want the name Mrs. Jones to come on before back to school night. It'll just line up with what I'm saying just a little bit better. Now, September 25th, I don't start talking about September 25th for a little bit longer. So I want to delay this. And the way you do a delay is you click the item, and right here where it says delay, delay, it's by default, it's a zero second. Well, we're gonna change that. We're gonna say five seconds. I do think that I want Mrs. Jones to come on before I draw it. And 
that doesn't affect my timing at all so that should be fine I would like a brief pause at the very end of this scene so that when I write presentation classroom tours refreshments they can actually read it for a second or two after I write it so I'm gonna put two seconds Now you may recognize this scene here. It's one of our pre-built scenes that comes stock in Doodly. In this example over here, if you look over here, it's a courtroom. Well, I wanted it to look more like a multi-purpose room or you know, something that you'd have a conference in with a lot of people at a school. So what I did is I deleted all of the little boxes that make it look like a courtroom and the judges stand and everything. So I deleted those. I moved my characters into place. She looks like a librarian, so I, I kept her and he looks like maybe a parent or a coach or a principal, so it's fine to have him. We could add a camera movement and zoom in to that. So let's do that. You go over here to our camera movements, click the plus sign, drag your little effect over double click we're going to start full screen and then we're going to end nice and tight on our board we can reposition this as needed let's just see what it's looking like now the night kicks off with a short presentation in the gym at five you don't want to miss it now we have this little map and I created this custom line myself using just graphics design software. What we want to do is we want to mark her room. So we want to put her room number here. And I believe it's room 506. And you'll notice this white just kind of gets lost here. So let's go ahead and change that. We could invert it and it would turn it black because black is the opposite of white. I think that looks nice. I'm going to position it on top of my map and I, I am going to draw it. And then I'll have the line draw on. So let's see what that looks like. To room 506, where I'll share some important... Okay, <laughs> I wanted to show you that because when you do a camera move, it just stays on that last position of the camera. So it was way too zoomed in for this. In this case, I'd actually like to be zoomed in at room 506 and then pull out to reveal the entire thing. So once again, you go back into your effect, position it where you'd like. I don't need to be super tight. I think something like that would be nice. And then at the end, I want it full screen. And then over here, we could add some text or graphics that represent the different activities that the teacher's gonna go over. So let's just do something like this. Okay, this is looking nice, but I notice it's off-centered quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Command-A or Control-A if you're on Windows. And what that does is it selects everything. And now using my arrow keys or my mouse, I can just slide it over and it looks a little bit nicer, so more centered. I've added text and that has added quite a bit of time to my video. So what if we made all of these zero duration? So the hand is not gonna draw them. And that buys us time, right? Now I need to move these all up so that they appear before room 506 is drawn on. This is gonna be the last thing. Room 506 is gonna be the last thing. And then let's add to the end of our scene. And that should be about right. So let's look at the final video. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jones, your child's fifth grade teacher. It's time for back to school night. Here you can learn about all the exciting things happening at school this year. Join us September 25th from 5 to 7.30 p.m. The night kicks off with a short presentation in the gym at 5. You don't want to miss it. From there, head to room 506, where I'll share some important information about upcoming activities, and I'll answer your questions. 
I can't wait to see you. And there you have it, a quick way to create an invitation to back to school night using Doodly. Thanks for watching.